Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving an exponential equation with natural logarithm, which is ln. We have 10 to the power 1 plus ln x equals x, and we're going to be solving for x values. I'll be presenting three methods, and let's start with the first one. For my first method, I'm going to log both sides. Since we have a 10 as our base on the left-hand side, it makes sense. So log both sides and then bring this down. If you bring that down, that's going to be 1 plus ln x multiply by log 10, which is 1. So we can write it as 1 plus ln x equals log x. I don't actually need parentheses, so let's go ahead and remove them. Now, how do you solve this equation? There's a few different ways to go about it. First of all, I'm going to put the variables on the same side. So I'll write it as log x minus ln x equals 1. And then I'm going to use what's called change of base formula. So change of base formula works like this. If you have log a with base b, you can write it as log a over log b. And here the base can be anything. You can make it x, you can make it e, you can make it 10, whatever you want. So that's the change of base formula. And I'm going to use it. And th the base I'm going to use is natural log, which is base e. So log x can be written as ln x over ln 10 minus ln x equals 1. Okay. Uh, let me go ahead and bring it down a little bit. Okay, here we go. Looks better. So now we're going to go ahead and take out an ln x here since we can factor this. Take out ln x, you're going to get 1 over ln n minus 1 equals 1. We can go ahead and make a common denominator. 1 minus ln n over ln, I mean ln 10, not ln n, ln 10. And now we can go ahead and divide both sides by that quantity or multiply by the reciprocal to get the ln x by itself. So from here, ln x can be written as ln 10 over 1 minus ln 10, which is the reciprocal of this expression right here. Okay, so we didn't get x yet, so we're going to do the following. x can be written as e to the power ln x, and of course x needs to be positive, right, in this case. Uh, so we can go ahead and do e to the power both sides, and so that's what's going to happen, e to the ln x equals x, and that is equal to e to the power ln 10 over 1 minus ln 10. Obviously, there's different ways to write it. For example, uh, this can be written as e to the power ln 10 to the power 1 over 1 minus ln 10. Notice that e to the power ln 10 is equal to 10, so this becomes 10. You can write it with a different base if you want. But that's the x value. All right, great. Let's go ahead and take a look at the second method. For the second method, instead of logging both sides, and I'm going to rewrite the original equation, 1 plus ln x, 10 to the power of that equals x. And I'm going to ln both sides. Well, that kind of makes sense, right? Because uh, we have ln x in the exponent, so they both make sense. So let's go ahead and do it. And then like before, bring this down. But this time, ln 10 is not going to be 1 because uh, they're different numbers. This is base e, and that's 10. So that's decimal. So now we can write this as 1 plus ln x times ln 10 equals ln x. But notice that ln x can be distributed. So we get ln x times ln 10 equals ln x. And we can put uh, the terms that contain ln x on the same side and kind of factor out. And this is what we get. And from here, we arrive at the same result. It's just, just a little different path but we end up with the same thing. And then if you do e to the power of both sides, of course, this is going to be the same as before, e to the power ln 10 over 1 minus ln 10. And again, like before, you can write it as e to the power ln 10 to the power 1 over 1 minus ln 10. And this can be written as e to the power ln 10 is 10, 10 to the power 1 over 1 minus ln 10. Okay, so there's different ways to write it, obviously. Uh, so you can do it in different ways. Depends on what base you want to use. And when we do our third method, 
you're going to realize that actually we're getting the answer in a slightly different way, but they're all equivalent. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the third method now. So the third method. So the third method basically, and let me rewrite the original equation here. Third method uses substitution and that makes a lot of sense here because we have a variable in the exponent. So let's go ahead and call this y and don't question why. So ln x equals y. This implies because base is e, x equals e to the power y from definition of logarithms. So. By replacing ln x with y, we get the following from here. 10 to the power 1 plus y equals x, which can be written as e to the power y. So in other words, uh, we get rid of the logarithm and we, this kind of turns into a purely exponential equation. Now 10 to the power 1 plus y can be written as 10 times 10 to the power y equals e to the power y. By the way, when we're done with the third method, we're going to take a look at a graph. Okay, great. I forgot to say it at the beginning. So now where we have the separation, uh, we can go ahead and put the variables on the same side. So kind of like divide both sides by 10 to the power y. So it's going to give me 10, e to the y divided by 10 to the y equals 10. So since the numerator and denominator, they both have the same exponent, we can kind of express them with a common exponent like this, right? And this rule is basically like if you have a to the x divided by b to the x, that can be written as a over b to the power x. All right. So now it's nice because we have a single variable and we can kind of bring it down. You can do lots of different things. You can log both sides since the, uh, we have a 10 on the right hand side. It kind of makes sense. Log e over 10 to the power y equals log 10, which is 1. And now you can go ahead and bring the y down and y times log e over 10 equals 1. And since we're trying to solve for, you know, uh, y, we can just go ahead and divide both sides by that quantity. But let's go ahead and simplify it first using the property of expanding um, the log of a quotient. We can write this as log e minus log 10. But remember, log 10 is 1, so we can write it as y times log e minus 1. So now divide both sides by that and you get y equals 1 over log e minus 1. But remember, y is, y is ln x, right? So we're going to set this equal to ln x and we're going to do e to the power of both sides. So since ln x is that, x is going to be e to the power 1 over log e minus 1. Now we had a different result before, right? Remember? And that result was x equals e to the power ln 10 over 1 minus ln 10 or x equals 10 to the power 1 over 1 minus ln 10. If you go ahead and compare these values, you're going to realize that the values are the same. So let's go ahead and take a look at the graph real quick. You're going to realize, okay, so log x actually kind of um, is going to stay below ln x plus 1. Obviously, ln x plus 1 is ln x raised up. So uh, it's always going to be above. But first, it's below, and then they intersect at a, which is this value right here. So that's going to be the solution for this equation. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.